Note: The following video depicts a specific configuration of the notebook. The same removal and replacement procedures apply to all configurations of the notebook. Before you begin, remove the top cover, wireless module, and fan. Removal. Important: Ensure the battery cable is disconnected from its connector on the system board. Important. Make careful note of the routing of all cables for later replacement. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchscreen ZIF connector and disconnect the touchscreen cable from the system board. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and cable. Disconnect the power connector cable from its connector on the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the primary storage drive ZIF connector and disconnect the primary storage drive ribbon cable from the system board. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the audio USB board ZIF connector and disconnect the audio USB board ribbon cable from the system board. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the power button board ZIF connector and disconnect the power button board ribbon cable from the system board. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the display panel ZIF connector and disconnect the display panel cable from the system board. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and cable. Remove the 5 4mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the base enclosure. Carefully flex the left edge of the base enclosure and remove the heat sink from the retention tab. At an angle, slide the external connectors out of the cutouts in the base enclosure and remove the system board. Replacement. Note: Before installing a new system board, remove the following from the old system board and install on the new system board. Memory modules. Heat sink. Tow the external connectors on the left side of the system board into the cutouts in the base enclosure and lower the system board onto its alignment pins. Caution: Ensure that all cables are free from being pinched between the system board and base enclosure. Carefully flex the left edge of the base enclosure and place the heat sink under the retention tab. Replace the 5 4mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the base enclosure. Insert the display panel cable into the display panel ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and cable. Insert the power button board ribbon cable into the power button board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the audio USB board ribbon cable into the audio USB board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the primary storage drive ribbon cable into the primary storage drive ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Guide the primary storage drive ribbon cable in between the system board and primary storage drive. Connect the power connector cable into its connector on the system board. Insert the touchscreen cable into the touchscreen ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and cable. Route the touchscreen cable through the routing channel on the base enclosure. Important: 
After system board replacement, be sure to complete post installation tasks as required that may include verifying functionality of the notebook, updating the BIOS, updating DMI and other settings, injecting Microsoft Windows 8 digital product keys.